Hi, it's me again with Corrode All Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to draw this. And this one was done just by duplicating this one. This one was done by cloning. So if we get the interactive fill tool, we can actually change some things in real time to make it totally different. And just get it, whoop, get it where you, the way you want it and leave it alone. So how we draw that is just take a six-sided polygon. We're going to make it about the same size and hit P. And then we're going to take a rectangle and go from, doesn't really matter, but put it right on that line. We're actually going to make it a little bit thicker. And then we're going to round off the corners with the ratio locked. I'm going to type in two. So now we've got a perfect circle. You want, and, and see this other one is, is like a little bit closer, so I'm actually going to move that over a little bit. You want to make sure that this is a little bit taller than I have it. So just take, and if you hold down your control button, it'll grow straight up. Now take that object, control D to make a duplicate, Click on the center and then move the center rotation there. Rotate it 120 degrees. Control D, rotate it 120 degrees. And then the only line you want to delete is this line right here. Then you want to take your Smart Fill tool and fill in this line. Whoop, I've got an excess line, but it didn't really matter. Somehow I didn't delete this one little line, the indexing line. Stopped it from doing it, but it still worked out. Now I'm going to nudge that out of the way. I don't ever throw anything away or discard it or delete it because I might want to do it again. So now we're going to get the interactive fill tool and we're going to add a little shading to this. We want a dark up in here. And then we want, let's put this light blue here. And what that did, and then we can move that and then move the handle and you could... You could change it a lot, add another blue to the middle, and that's really pretty good. I like that. So now you've got it ready. You need to go to edit and clone. Clone's already made you a copy, so you just have to click on the rotation and get it there. Rotate this 120 degrees. Control D, make it rotation. And now what is so neat about the clone tool is we can, you want to select just this one and use the interactive fill tool and then you can change this and see it change in real time. That's pretty cool. You could, you could do a lot with it. It's going to make it ugly, but um, you wouldn't want to do that. But it, it does change it up quite a bit. Um, anyway, so two other examples. This one's probably the best. This is good, except for I cannot edit it because these are just copies. These are where this is a control curve. This is just a curve. So I can't change that one where this one, I can change it completely. I could, I could make it green. And by making them all green, you wouldn't want to, you would probably just want to delete those, but whoop, I hit outside the box. That's going to fill it in. And a few more greens and we'll be ready. Probably two colors is your best. We're going to put one more green. And then we're going to bring this black in. And then I always go up here and kind of smooth it out. It kind of just uh, makes it not so abrupt. That's not as good. But then you could always add an outline. And I would add the outline in, in green. And then make it something thicker than a hairline. Well, can't really tell it. Uh, you can make it black, and it's going to show. It's going to show that cur curve a little bit more. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.